Shalom. Katas. Makuai. Manishma. Tov, tov. Tov, tov, tov. So today we are doing cooking with Trish and Trisha ve Moshe. How do you say cooking with Trisha and Moses in Hebrew? Today we are going to cook with Trisha and Moshe. I'm a Moshim. <laughs> okay, so today we're doing another one of his mom's recipes. You guys really loved it, my mother-in-law's recipe. Um, you guys really loved it. And I really loved it. <laughs> yeah, you, we actually made it like another time after that. Like it was, and I loved it too. Like that's like how you know it's good. So today we're kind of using the same like ingredients, but to make pasta and you actually told me about this for a long time and trust me you guys i was like no we always do so much pasta like people are like i don't think you actually like pasta but he's like no this is the best pasta it i see <laughs> drumsticks and i see all the same seasonings we had so i'm gonna attempt to cook it but i need your help to translate because once again the recipe is in hebrew so you'll have to is... guide me all right so what is this dish called spaghetti adom in of Spaghetti adom e of, which is spaghetti and red chicken. Spaghetti with red, red chicken. Sauce. Oh, red <laughs> sauce. Like I had to know sauce. I didn't know Hebrew sauce. All right. So what do we what do we start with? What's the first thing? And you said this is like relatively easy, but once again, it's an hour cook time. The last one was a two hour cook time, and this is an hour cook time um, minimum for the, chicken. for the chicken. And then you have to put the pasta in. So, all right. What's step one that I gotta do? <laughs> the first, the ingredients. Oh, okay. Chavila spaghetti. We get, your mom said penne she likes best because it gets more the sauce. The penne in. holds the sauce in. We usually eat spaghetti. Like as kids, we used to have oh, spaghetti. Oh, you did? But, but we also thought for the purpose of the video, it's better. It's, it's awkward to eat spaghetti on camera because <laughs> it's just, especially me, I shove it in my mouth. Shesh shokaim. Chicken. What's shesh shokaim? Shesh. Chan, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 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 seven, six, shesh, <laughs> seven, wait, don't tell me, seven is shesh, shava? Ten. Okay. <laughs> I was like, just so they know that I know my number is. all the numbers. Oof is chicken, right? Oof. Oof. So, shesh. Oof is like when you're like upset about something, like oof. Like Moshe, oof, Nick. Oof, Nick, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, shesh, oof, oof. 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 Stein, shalosh, kapot, resek. Tomato. Resek adom. Red, oh, red sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're using Echad tomatoes. benoni. Well, here, providing context clues. <laughs> I was able to translate that onion. Um, <laughs> Shesh shinaim shum ktushim. Shesh shinaim? Shesh. Shinaim? We call them like tea. Each, each garlic. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? Okay, so, all right, so six. Cloves of garlic. Yes. <laughs> but you call them teeth of garlic? Shinaim. Shinaim? Never she heard that. Shinaim, so oh, so the... Uh, and shoe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a key route. Let's see. Kaf. Kaf paprika metuka. Is that the smoked the sweet paprika? paprika. Sweet, sweet paprika. Kaf. Kaf is... <laughs> <laughs> we got these teaspoons sent to us, and honestly, no idea who sent them. Like, we're gonna look for the envelope because Moses opened you it, it and thought I bought them because everyone tells me to keep using teaspoons. But someone I think sent them to us. Measuring spoons. Measuring spoons. Are those teaspoons too? It says teaspoon. Because everyone's like, oh, she doesn't know the difference between tablespoon and teaspoon. I do know the difference. I just use the tablespoon oh. for like measure. I think they're like the same thing. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but whoever said them, thank you. I think I don't know. We got to figure it out. That's kind of weird if you know our address, but well, you get so many. Everyone's graduating. Send you. I know. No, but don't send it to us if you know our address. It's just like a kind of a little weird, but right, appreciate the thought. Kaf paprika metuka, kaf paprika harifa. Spicy. Don't do the signals. Oh, kumen. Chatsi kaf kamun. What's chatsi kaf? What's that? Chatsi. Chatsi? Half? Mm -hmm. Half? Half a spoon. Chatsi kaf. Chatsi. When we are like hamashim the chatsi. Yeah, when we do half. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, kaf vita. What is that? Big bouillon. So that's a funny thing, like in Israel, the brand is called vita. 
So we just call it Vita, but it's actually just it's a cuff. Ah. It's one. It's a chicken soup. What do you call that? Like bouillon. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Is that the name of it? Or? I don't know. <laughs> then a little bit of mat pilpel shacho. Pilpel shacho. Pilpel is easy. Pilpel. Pe- what is it? Your pepper. We're pilpel. 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 <laughs> you have to move the head. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, melach mm, well, That melach. is a long. Melach. Melach. May have a tam? According Lefiatam. to your test. Like, oh. Put it according to your oh, test. I like that. It's better than the measuring. You didn't say this one. I think we're not using it. No turmeric? No. I like this one, though. This is like the secret sauce of our chicken. All right. So no yeah. low so turmeric. That's the difference between the last one and today's. <sighs> that's pretty much all the same and ingredients then, we used before, except... Well, but this is like yeah. tomato base. But that's like tomato sauce. Oh, are we using that thing? The Hebrew one? The Hebrew tomatoes? No, that's for oh. a different recipe, shakshuka. Which oh, is, like uh, the breakfast? Yeah, you mix it um, with ah. eggs. Eggs with tomato sauce. <gasps> shakshuka. I've heard of that. Is that what Feed Phil was eating on his show? <laughs> yeah, everyone goes to Israel. Try shakshuka. Yum! And there's a famous place in Israel that's called Dr. Shakshuka. Really? Is it like Dr. Shakshuka? It's just like the name of the restaurant. Oh, I like it. Because it's like the doctor. You know, oh. Like. Is that your family's restaurant? Don't you have family that's restaurants over there? No, that's Itzi Kagodol. Oh, okay. Promotion. It's big Isaac. Itzi Kagodol. He has a big personality. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's a long story because there was small Isaac, so he was big Isaac. Got it. <laughs> Like that. So we got all that, then the actual... So this is all the ingredients? Do? Yeah, so now what we're going to do is... Cut up the onion. Mm-hmm. Metagnin. Puncture. Bemad shemen. Vegetable oil. And... We're paprika, resek, maim, samin ta'ol. Maim water? Mm-hmm. We're gonna mix it all together in that. We're gonna mix it all together in that. Put enough with, and then we add water, and the chicken is gonna cook in that sauce, and the water will be above the chicken. So we're not doing any prep work on the chicken. No. What do you mean prep? Like we're not baking it first and then putting no, it's it in. No, cook for an hour in the sauce. I'm then, so confused by this. And then we take the chicken out. We put the pasta in. And then you put the chicken kind of on top. Close it for a little bit. Wow, it's like a chicken parm or chicken alfredo. Except Israeli style. Exactly. This isn't Israeli dish, this is your mom's dish. Is this a mom original? Well, I was just thinking about it. I mean, pasta is obviously Italian, so I guess this is like a Middle Eastern take on... That's what I'm saying. I never heard of I like... On pasta. Jumpsticks on pasta. <laughs> I mean, I love it. I'm here for it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think most of the dishes we have have in them either chicken or beef. I am here for I think this is gonna be actually so easy because I feel like I'm a master at sauces I feel like I'm gonna be able to master this if you just have to put the chicken on there and you have the but instructions the main, the main thing is that it's kind of a spicy red sauce for pasta it's inter- and I that's why I think bread. she might like it that's why I think it'll be interesting to see because I am picky with my chicken and red sauces combined even chicken parm sometimes if I, it's like the wrong combination but um, I love spicy but red sauce. you know sauce. What, is, what in the red sauce? Like, what is it that you like in a sauce? Well, the other tricky thing is it's like we're having dark meat. And normally I eat white meat. And I like dark meat on rare occasions. But I don't yeah. know how I'm going to like it in the pasta. But we'll see. I'm excited but, to try uh, it. The main thing is not the chicken, though. What I'm interested in is if you so like the, the pasta with the sauce. Well, that's true. Because these are like, all that's, new seasonings. That's really what this is about. It's not about the chicken. Okay. I think the chicken is more I'm like excited. they added, you know, just to have more. I love the chicken and potatoes we made. I love that so much. Like that might be my favorite dish ever. Like I love that dish. So I'm excited for this one. Cool. All right, cooking with Trish commences. Right. Let's get started right. on the sauce. Right. Do the cooking and I'll Yay. do the t- <laughs> taste test. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're over here. We have this cool pink pot. I ordered this a long time ago. I don't remember what it was. It's kind of bougie. So we're going to use this for the first time. And instead of vegetable oil, we decided to go with ver- olive oil because that's what he thought his mom cooked with. So we are going to put just a small layer at the bottom and let it heat up. And now I'm going to go chop up those onions, shesh onions, 
Oh no, that's just garlic. And uh, we'll be back once this heats up and then we're gonna put the onions on for quite a bit too so they get translucent. So once that's warmed up, I am going to take some chopped onion and that's to cook for a while, like longer than normal. So usually we do it till it's translucent. I'm gonna stir it around so it doesn't burn and just kind of keep an eye on that. And I'm gonna chop up some garlic. So once they're like golden, they're basically, it was like more and more and more. I'm adding the garlic and I turned it down quite a bit because it was a hot little pan. And these are my favorite things. Two favorite things is onion and garlic. And then we are going to add in the tomato paste, three spoons, and have some water on hand, which is something that I normally don't do, but I will do it so it doesn't dry out. So we're gonna take the tomato paste and we are going to do one spoon, two spoon, and we love tomato paste, so you know. A hearty amount of tomato paste, three spoon, and then we're gonna add seasoning. We're gonna do half. I'm going to flip it around on here. We're gonna do half of a tablespoon of this spicy. Okay, a little more because we're gonna make it spicy. Okay, and then we're gonna do full tablespoons of everything else. We're gonna add a little bouillon later, so we're gonna do. Tablespoon, and we like seasoning, so we are going to season it up. And plus, a little bit on the spoon, but I'm going to get that off. And then another tablespoon of cumin, which I love that they put cumin in pasta because honestly, cumin is one of my faves. Okay, so now that we have all that, I'm going to put the excess in there. Okay, we're going to try to get all that mixed in. Oh, it smells so good. It smells really different than any of the pastas we made. And a little water so it doesn't dry. I'm kind of relatively new with tomato paste, but I've been using it in a lot of recipes and I really, really like it. It's kind of in like everything. Mexican rice, that Cajun pasta I made. So we're gonna just kind of put all the spices and get it in. Put a little more water in, so it becomes more of a sauce. Mm. Yeah, it's such an interesting, like, it's different. It's such a different sauce smell, but it smells good. Usually I'm just used to putting in like a prego can and calling it a day, but this is. Mm. Yeah, so I guess the chicken's gonna cook right in here, which is so interesting to me. So I did add quite a bit more water, almost like a cup on there. And so now we are going to add the chicken to our sauce. So I'm gonna put my thing over there. So we have all drumsticks. Um, Moses said they had drumsticks and thighs growing up, but we have drumsticks tonight. But next time we can try the thighs. And we're gonna put the chicken in the sauce because this is where it is going to cook. And these are from Mr. Kosher and Encino, so this chicken just tastes a lot better than probably most chickens. And you let that sit for a couple minutes in there. And then we are have our boiling water over here ready to go. And we're gonna put that in and fill it up to the way of the chicken. So I'm gonna let that sit, wash my hands, and we'll come back and put the water. Now we have our hot water and we are going to fill it over to the level of the chicken. We're gonna water our chicken. This is so, I have like never ever cooked chicken or pasta sauce like this and I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for the new experiences. Watering the chicken. 
Hopefully this is enough to come up. Mmm, smelling is so good. All right, so now we are going to bring that to a boil. That water looks good, I guess. And now we are going to take a tablespoon. Again, we got this from Mr. Kosher. So I don't know, that's what it looks like if you want to get it online. Oh yeah. So we're gonna do a tablespoon of this stuff. And we are going to season that in. Maybe just a little more for good luck, okay. And then of course, the trusty salt. And Pilpar, Pilpar. And pepper. Okay, we're gonna come to a boil. I'm gonna get some of this over here so it kind of mixes in more. Kind of mix it all around, make sure the chicken's touching the pot. Okay. Chicken's in there cooking. Make sure it's just all over. Mix, okay. So now we are gonna bring that to a boil. And then we will let it simmer again and put the lid on to cook for an hour. So we'll wait for that to boil on up. And that's like the preparation for this. So we are going to bring this down to a low. And then we are gonna put the lid on and <laughs> let that cook for an hour, which I'm very curious to see how this all goes. So there we go, we put that on for an hour. Once it gets close to the end of the hour, like last 10 minutes, we're gonna put in the noodles and like boil the noodles and yeah, we'll see how it goes. A few little updates. So we put a lot of water in, maybe too much, so it wasn't really evaporating like we wanted. So I just kind of kept the lid off for most of the hour um, and it seemed to work pretty good. So now we are going to remove the chicken temporarily and we're gonna just put it off to the side. And, ooh, it looks good. It's so crazy that this chicken, I don't know, I didn't realize on the pie so stupid, but like that it cooks like this. It's so funny. It looks like it's kind of nice and yummy. It smells good. The sauce is really saucy now. I'll just go ahead and put this to the side. And then we're to all the chicken to the side. We are now going to go ahead and drain our noodles and then throw them into the sauce. Drained the noodles, and now we are going to put the pasta into the sauce, which is like my favorite thing to do, because yeah, it really gets it all up in there. Probably just more, scoop it more or less in there. There we go, pasta expert over here. I'm going to just get all the sauce covering the noodles. Yeah, the sauce smells really good. I'm so interested to taste this because it like literally smells so different than anything like I've had. And again, I love all the spices we put in it, so I think this is gonna be good. I'm just trying to cover it like really well so we get all the sauce. Mm. Yum, I could literally eat it like that right now. I'm so hungry. Whoa, I'm so hungry. Okay. Just really make sure all the sauce is covered. Okay. So now we are going to put the chicken back into the pot. On top of the pasta. little chickens and like emulsify it in there <laughs> this is like literally so cute like little chickens and pasta it's like a big chicken and pasta I'm gonna put like a whole whole drumstick in there but I'm here for this okay so once you're in push them down into the thing okay. and then we are going to cover it with a lid for 10 more minutes on low right now and see how it goes. Muffin time! 
<laughs> okay, this is like about an hour and a half later, two hours later, because we like film everything and cook it. So, um, okay, I'm excited. So you kind of tasted the sauce a little, so you kind of know. Yeah, no, I mean it's okay. It's good. Yeah, okay. this is the one it's supposed to taste. So this is so cool. So this is another one of your childhood dishes you had a during town. Okay, you said you loved the smell of this. Whenever you smelled it, you were so excited. <clears throat> Moshe Tinoke. <laughs> would be super excited. Come on. Okay, okay. Should I do it with the chicken? Oh no, you're just eating the pasta by itself. No, just the pasta. Pasta is the main thing. I mean, I love it because it's pasta and sauce. I love it. I'm trying to think of the difference, like. <clears throat> Because I, I genuinely love it. I'm just trying to think of like what makes it. Because it does taste different. What's like this? What's the seasoning that's? I guess maybe the cumin. The cumin, the paprika. The mm -hmm. cumin. It's like sweeter than our sauce. Like the cumin comes through. I mean, I love cumin. It's really, really good. Look, anything pasta, I really don't think I could hate. Like I, I do like. I'm surprised at how simple it was, and I'm surprised that you loved it so much. Because hmm. I feel like when I first met you, you didn't like eat pasta all the time. No, I mean, this we'll probably have this once a week. If, you know, my mom would cook this once a week. I feel good. So, would you eat? So, you're not taking the chicken with the with the pasta. You're eating it separately. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how the chicken turned out. I've never seen chicken cooked like that, like in um, the in a, in a sauce. Or in the, on top of the stove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in like that water. All right. Okay, so here's the hot. chicken. Yeah, it's like steaming. I love, I mean, I love the pasta, but that, I mean, that's to be expected. But from the look of it, the chicken looks really good. The color, like that's. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I get the combination out because like pasta by itself is just pasta, but having that little chicken in there kind of makes it taste more fulfilled, like nutritious, fulfilling. It tastes more of yeah. the meal. Yeah, exactly. Like we need something with the pasta. Like yeah, I mean that's amazing. This is like also the chicken is just really good. We get it at this kosher market, but the seasoning, the oh. sauce. No, I'm just thinking too. Like for kosher food, you don't mix meat. And milk, or any milk product. Oh. So no, we haven't used anything. Right, like chicken parm would use cheese, Not fettuccine even, would use yeah. butter. We didn't even use butter, we didn't use any creams to the sauce, you know. So it's like a kind of like kosher mm -hmm. pasta, chicken pasta. I mean, it's so, and I also think the spices, I think the chicken, and, I think everything you get from the kosher market is just tastes better. I don't know, the spices taste better. Or maybe it's just a combination of spices that I don't see a lot, like on recipes. And it's so delicious. I think I like the two different paprikas too. I think yeah. it makes such a difference. I like the chicken with the pasta. Okay, I think I think next time we'll do mm. more paprika and a bit less cumin. Because mm -hmm. I remember the paprika I mean, I being a stronger flavor. Yeah, I think flavor. I want the cumin. <laughs> I think the paprika is usually the stronger flavor. Than I should have done more. Especially the spicy, because I know we like spicy. I should have got a little extra on it. <laughs> But I like the cumin. No, I'm just trying to see what, what yeah, what flavors like how I remember it. I like your mom's dishes because they're like relatively simple. Like it's a it's a long cook time, but I think that's what makes the chicken so good. Like doesn't dry the chicken, it's not fried. So I like that's a longer cook time, but it's also like you don't have to do much. You kind of just like let it go. I think it's good. Wow. I also think the chicken you get these drumsticks are really good because I eat drumsticks and they're not usually this good. And also my mom would cook like five to six dishes at once, you know what I mean? Like the stuff Why? Because it's food for the weekend for everyone, you know, oh like my six gosh. people. That makes sense why then, yeah, to like set it and forget it. So she's like, it's almost like a DJ. <laughs> she's like all those different dishes. How Each one gets a little bit. How many do you have? Like this? Well, she'll have all of them occupied and then move something aside and put more. And then the oven, you know. Oh my god, I get overwhelmed. Did your dad help her? Mm hmm. Because okay. I, I think without you, like, I'd be overwhelmed. 
Like well, this, whatever, but breakfast, you know, in the morning. She would usually cook by herself those big meals, but mm -hmm. my dad was a good cook, so there'll be times where he would cook, too. Really? Mm -hmm. What'd your dad cook? Kind of it was more like meat, you know, like lamb, oh, like steaks, and... That's so cool he's a good cook, because you're such a good cook, too. Mmm. Even when we go out for pasta, like... You, instead of like mashed potatoes, like you'll get pasta on the side. Like when we go to um, the one here, you know, you get steak. What I get, yeah. And then you get a little pasta on the side. This pasta is really good. The sauce is good. This, yeah, the seasonings are delish. It's such an interesting way to cook it. You like spicy, so it's kind of. It could almost be spicier. Oh, yeah, this is not the spicy. Mm hmm. I think that's my bad. I think I should put more spices in. I should just eye spices because I always like to put way more in than like an ingredient calls for, <laughs> you know? No, but you got to learn from making, so. Right. Next time I think I would put like just way more spices in. Because even when I make like our quesadillas and stuff, I go like crazy on the spices. Because I love spices. But it is spicy. Like it is. Yeah. I just don't feel it as much. Like. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that was really good. Okay. Definitely rate this steak. I would say 9.5 out of 10. That's really high. Yeah. I would, I honestly, I should put more, a little more spicy in it. And the other thing, I just missed the potato. <laughs> Whenever we have these spices, I feel like there should be some potatoes in it. <laughs> I almost put some in and I thought, really? I don't want to make it weird for you. <laughs> <laughs> and potatoes will never make it weird for me. I love it. I mean, I know it doesn't really go, but I always wish that, like... No, it does. We have it. Really? <laughs> I feel like at Italian restaurants, they never have potatoes. I'm like, oh, a potato would go really good with this pasta. We just slice them thinner than the one in the oven because it doesn't cook as long. Mm -hmm. But um, same process. When the chicken was cooked in the sauce, there'll be some potato slices in there. With the water? Mm -hmm. And it cooks. I guess that makes sense. Then you kind of boil it. Yeah. And then at the end, you put them on the top. Does this remind you of childhood? <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love when it's like cooking and you're like, oh, it smells like when I was a kid. I'm like, oh, I love that because like those kind of like childhood scents are always the best. I don't really have that many like childhood scents, but I do love when you have a little nostalgia. You're like, oh, I, I mean, this. those are the biggest memories. The food, <laughs> the smell of cooking. Hmm. Again, okay, my mom would always be cooking for hours. <laughs> I mean, that's really cool. I'm gonna be that mom that's always cooking. Especially at like dinner. Mom. Our kids will grow up with these meals too. Mm hmm. For sure, I want that. Mm. I always know when you like something. <laughs> As you eat it. Man, this chicken. Yeah, the chicken's. Oh, so amazing. Mm -mm -mm. I look forward to cooking too. It's like the best part of the day. I could do everything during the day. You're painting. Yeah, it's gonna be funny when I'm done <laughs> painting. <laughs> I know. I was googling. I got the crib, the changing table, and changing pads and stuff. I'm like, but then I Google, what do you put on the changing table? <laughs> There's so many things. I was getting a little overwhelmed by it. I was like, oh my gosh, okay. I'll find a new painting project. <laughs> Might Never do murals ending. in the playroom. In playroom. That would be really cool. Well, we have another baby. There's no murals to paint. Mmm. It's gonna be weird to not be pregnant for like three months, minimum. <laughs> no, but then, but it's like the same, but more, because now the baby is real. You know, like it's outside. Right. Yeah, I think I'll just be so like obsessed with our baby that I won't even like think about it. I just wanted to have a little play friend. <laughs> I can be a play friend. It's just so exciting to think about, and it's like nine weeks away, eight weeks away. Just 
just like a lot. I'm just thinking about cooking. I mean, obviously she can't eat for a little while, but I'll eat food. But pasta will be a good first meal for Kids her. Kids love mm -hmm. And so does this little one over here. Oh, you're making some dry noodles? Give me some of those. <laughs> I mean, they're so tiny, she'll be like three of those will be a meal. Right? I know. <laughs> Whenever I see kids eat. Them the... I know. Oh, I know. I can't wait. Mm -mm -mm. I put more pasta on my plate than you did. Mm, I'm eating faster. <laughs> this is so good. I was getting so hungry. I had a little fruit snack before. It's also spicy, so it gets you to kind of. I thought mine's not spicy. Are you I mean... A little. It's not like the hot... Like red chili flakes. <laughs> oh my but, god. But... Um, no, it's really good. It has like a nice... I wish mine like my mouth spicy. is warm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that warm. No, it's definitely a different kind of spice too. So that paprika is a little different. I love it. Oh, and then... We usually have fresh bread. Oh, we should have made that. So then we'll you kind of clean. Scoop it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wipe the sauce clean. With Nothing left. What kind of bread? Like the challah bread. <gasps> you should have gotten that in Mr. Kosher. I didn't think about this part. Babe, this is your meal. Mm -hmm. You want to hear the weirdest one? Meal? No. Thing to add to this pasta. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Oh. Hummus. Yes. Oh my god. When do you add it in? After? No, no. It's just like it's on the side. So sometimes I'll like take mm -hmm. the pasta, dip it a little bit and then eat it. Oh my god. Hummus goes so well with this. No. No. You lost me yes. there. I could or like you can have a piece of bread with some hummus and the sauce on top of that. I could have whipped it up for you. You should have told me. You should call the Zo or call Adam Taylor and tell him the Zohan is real. That like hummus is not a stereotype. You want it with everything. With more chicken. And more. Kind yeah, of warm back there. Mmm, that's cute, but. Excuse me. <laughs> I would usually squeeze it, but we are on YouTube. <laughs> oh, to grab lots of hot. You remember. <laughs> you have what? You remember. Oh, well, that one I can't forget. That's my fave. Mmm. Whew, I'm getting full. Mm, mm, mm. It's a good part, this new one, the pink one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one. I don't know where I got it, but it's heavy. Yeah, it's one of those cast iron. Mm -mm. Yeah, this chicken is like delish. Yeah, it's so funny because I would usually eat the skin, but I actually love the meat so much. I just never had such a good drumstick before. Do they do anything special to the meat if it's kosher? Yeah, there's a way they process it. Really? Because I feel like it tastes so much better. And I love our chicken, but... There's so many laws that they have to keep mm. from the way they raise the chickens to the way they um, unalive them. Very TikTok, very PG. <laughs> Mm. Like, look at that. It almost looks like white meat. It's so good. Whew, I'm not gonna say I feel a little spiciness in it. I guess compared to like last night, it's like <laughs> the spices aren't taking over. Mm. And what would you have for dessert with this? Your mom has dessert every night? Fruit salad, watermelon. Oh my god. Healthy, I love that. <laughs> I do love your watermelon. <laughs> Moses picks the best watermelon at the store. I like the watermelon whisperer. It's, uh, we do have strawberries in there. I I've been obsessed with like strawberry shortcake lately. That's been my thing. I'm asking to have like a meal, but oh my god, my belly. <laughs> it's so good. It really is so good. And send a picture to my mom. The good thing, then she watches the videos and gives us notes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, we need it. Well, 
Especially this one. We probably put too much water in or something. No, actually the sauce consistency is, is perfect. Really? No, I think it was more my mistake that I thought that she covered it for that one hour, but then I thought about it. It doesn't make sense because all that water needs to evaporate. You're a water expert. So. <laughs> You're a science of the water. Mm. So no, I think... Actually, this is the part I was worried about the most, like the consistency of the sauce. Yeah, it's good. But we, got, I think we got that. Mm -hmm. We got that perfect. Yeah. I taste like a sauce out of like, not out of a can, but the consistency of it out of the jar. Mm. But that's the thing about it. It's like the sauce is made from scratch. In a weird way, it kind of reminds me of Mexican rice because of the cumin and the tomato paste. Totally. <laughs> and I mean, the boyan. <laughs> pretty much, and the, and the onion. Mm -hmm. You could pretty much put that paste with rice and it would be... Yeah, that's kind of what this reminds me of. I don't know why. I mean, it's really good. But that makes sense, the spices. Because even that's like the water, you cover it. What do you think? Do you like penne or would you think that... I mean, I love penne noodles. I prefer it over spaghetti. I only like spaghetti, I think, if it's like at a restaurant, like Filippi's or something. But I prefer penne. I even want to make my dry noodles. I like this. Yeah, you like you... spaghetti, though? Well, as kids, we like spaghetti more, but for this sauce, the penne holds the sauce mm -hmm. in it. Mm. And it makes a difference which noodle because like for big ziti, mm -hmm. we used the regular ziti noodle and it was like not good. It was like floppy and kind of soggy. But we never use that. Right. When we use rigatoni, it's like crunchy. It's more well done. Like it was crazy. I was like, wow, it really yeah. makes a difference to noodle. What's it called? Rigatoni? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you make ziti, you use rigatoni. Isn't that crazy? Because we have the ziti. We didn't have rigatoni, so we used the ziti in the thing. I'm like, oh, this makes sense. This will be used. I thought it might be better. I, I know. Like, okay, let's see. But, no. But actually... Trash. We always did it better. I we, know. Uh, we get Tony. Oh. This is really good. Wow. Really good. I'm so full. This is so delish. This, this is... You just can keep eating and eating and eating. I love it. I love it when we love it so much. I just get excited. Even when we remade the chicken the second time. It was almost like better the second mm. time. It was so good. What was different about that time? Yeah, I think we crispy. just... Crispy. The potatoes or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, they were more crispy. Yeah, although we could have used more sauce. We, we, didn't, we want less sauce on the second time. Oil, yeah. Oil, more oil. It was really good. So we cooked that one a second time, which means it was delicious. We cooked the hummus and falafel twice. And not that we don't want to cook it twice. It's just it's so much work. So it's like we have to really like something to cook it twice. Yeah. But the baked chicken is just so easy. Yeah. And so good. That one's delicious to make and fun. And just, yeah. All I can talk about watch TV. If you guys have any TV show recommendations, let us know. Preferably like limited series. We're running out of them. We watched all the Emmy <laughs> nominees except for Dope yeah. Sick. We don't it's funny, we didn't even know which ones were. We just happened to you, watch you those. You pretty much chose the best ones. I didn't know, like the dropout I heard so many people talk about. So we watched that. Honestly, it's just what pops up. Like on Hulu, we would see stuff pop up or... But still, there's ones that popped up for the last two years and we haven't <laughs> tried to watch yeah. them. Well, because we're not so adventurous with new um, TV shows. But we are now. We're thinking about Ted Lasso. We're thinking about Tiger King. thinking about Sense8 on Netflix. Do you guys have any? The Pistol one, which I don't... I don't really like British things, so... But I don't know, maybe... I like real stories, but... Well, now that I saw that Orson is in... <laughs> oh, now that makes that makes you sway to it more? Yeah, because there's at least one character that I'm like... He's going to be funny. He's That's what I'm saying. Even that one you don't think I'll like, that's on It's like, if I know I like someone in it, I like will give the show a chance. But if it's a brand new show... What was that one you showed me in Italy? <laughs> Hotel Portofino. Portofino. I was like, oh, I don't know any of these people, and it's British... <laughs> It's like Bridgerton. It's like, ah, uh, I could get into it, but... Well, we know the girl from Euphoria now. We can get into Euphoria. <laughs> I liked her. I loved her in White Lotus. I thought she was a good actress. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. White Lotus was just too short. Six episodes and done. I loved it. Yeah, I wish I could have been in the second season, but they already filmed it. 
I love Jennifer Coolidge in it. It was so good. I love all of them in it. Like what White Lotus could be kind of they could mimic the success of Sheets Creek. Oh yeah, it does have that vibe. They, they I wonder why that is. I thought that too, I felt that way too. It's just the setting, you know, it's a setting of the people hotel, and people, people come and go, stories. Right, right. Interesting. So. It was really, really good. Maybe we need our own Israeli cooking show. Trisha Mo's cooking with Trish. Is that how you say it in Hebrew? <laughs> Trisha Shim. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was delicious. Mayo Taim. Taim Mayo. Taim Mayo. Oh, I got that wrong. No, it, it's, it's not <laughs> wrong. It's just like... Taim Mayo. So good. Daraba. Zatov. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? Toda Raba. Toda Raba. Is it Toda Abba? Toda Raba Abba. Mm -hmm. Toda I don't need. <laughs> I like that one. Okay. I'm going to give them some awkwardness. Thank, thank you. Nashiko. 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 What's your mom always say? Nashiko. It's kisses. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. This has been another episode of Cooking with Trish and Moses. And shout out to Moses' mom. This is the best. This is a really good recipe. Honestly, all the recipes are good. What else? What's the next one you would think of? Oh man. Hmm. <laughs> Depends. So there's some really complicated ones. She's like, when I come over, I'll, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you how to do them. She's like, and yeah, so far it's been she's simple. like, she loves this process, so she wants to give us like one recipe at a time, <laughs> and, you know, because then we call and talk and ask about the recipes and all that. I like that. So, because I told her, well, I can call my sister and get all the, because my sister has a book of recipes for my mom. <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just that's got to be. <laughs> no, we're going to do one and one, each Aww. one. So, th there's so many. There's. She should write a cookbook, your mom. True. I mean, it's kind of like um, she kind of so North much. African dishes. Really good. The There's one dish that is like um, stuffed zucchinis, oh, but like it's cheese? stuffed with rice. Oh right. So she doesn't really cook with cheese or butter, right? No. You know what? My dad hated butter. Really? And then also there's the kosher thing. So. Right. So it's hard to cook with that yeah. stuff. Interesting. I'm trying to think what would you cook? With? I mean, she makes cakes. Does have a lot of like butter and sugar and that kind of stuff. Oh, you get a cake recipe. Oh, I'm such a bad baker. <laughs> But so, so there's there's a few we talked about. There's one dish that is fish, and it's kind of a similar sauce, and the fish is cooked in the sauce. Oh, okay, that would be good. Is it a white fish? Any fish you want, yeah. It can be like cod. And I was thinking we should do fish stuff, like fish and chips. The only thing is our whole house smells like fish after we make like shrimp or something. Or even fish when we made the one in the but oven. But now we know, like we're more careful. I don't know, last time we made the shrimp pasta. No, but it wasn't as bad, like a couple of days. <laughs> Like, oh my god, it still smells like shrimp in here. I don't mind a little shrimpy. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed eating with us. We enjoyed eating with you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!